हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू हर चैनल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द लॉ ऑफ डेफिनेट प्रपोर्शन और कांस्टेंट प्रपोर्शन वी नो दैट एवरीथिंग अराउंड अस इज मेड अप ऑफ एटम्स एनीथिंग व्हिच ऑक्युपाई स्पेस एंड हैव सम मास व्हिच कैन बी फेल्ट बाय आवर फाइव सेंसेस वी कॉल्ड एज मैटर इन मैटर एंड द स्मॉलेस्ट पोर्शन ऑफ मैटर इज एटम and the atoms of same or different element combine to form molecule atoms of same or different elements combine to form molecule in the 17th century the scientists were trying to establish the basis of these chemical combination ultimately they comes out with the five laws out of those five laws we are discussing the second law we have already published our law of conservation of mass video you can search on our channel when we talk about the law of definite proportion or constant per composition this law of constant combination constant composition was initiated by the french scientist or the chemist joseph prost joseph prost it deals with the composition of various elements present in a compound according to this law a pure chemical compound a pure chemical compound always consist of always consist of same elements a pure chemical compound is made is always consist of same elements combine together in a fixed proportion by weight it means that the proportion fixed proportion by weight out of five laws that were derived the first four laws deals with the mass deals with the mass law of conservation of mass deals with the weight with the mass and this law is also deals with the mass there is no difference of mass and weight in the field of chemistry if i just give you an example you will this concept will be more clear to you if i just give you example that we can we can uh, create we can form co2 by number of ways we are having the different ways of generating by different ways of forming the co2 gas the first method we can easily let's take an example let's we uh, heat up we have just burn the coke in air or we can say pencil gray graphite pencil lead in air it becomes co2 we can also decompose the limestone that is coc3 when we heat this limestone it will form the calcium oxide and co2 this is another way of creating forming the co2 and the third method we are having when we mix washing soda washing soda or sodium carb carbonate with the hcl we have form the carbon dioxide in all these three samples of co2 the carbon and oxygen the carbon and oxygen are in a ratio of 12 ratio 32 or we can say Three ratio eight by weight. 
by weight this is law of definite constant proportion remember one thing the chemical compound must be pure if it has a imp some impurity the law is not applicable in all the three samples the carbon is having a mass of 12 and oxygen is having a mass of 16 there are two oxygens so we can multiply with 2 to overall becomes 12 32 so we can say there is a in all three samples there is a ratio of 12 ratio 32 if we just deduct these values to its simplest form we can get a ratio of 3 ratio of 8 this is what the joseph frost scientist deals with the composition of various elements present in a compound this is law of definite constant proportion